And we are live again. Very warm welcome to today's uh, Sobos Family Call. And this one is a special one because it's a public open one. Uh, usually for everybody who's not part of it, you are joining in tonight. Um, we meet with the Sobos Family every week for calls. It's a close community. But today we wanted to open it for all of you. And we are the hosts. My name is Jan and this is my Hi. beautiful girlfriend, Sarah. <laughs> Hi everybody, hi Solus family members, hi everybody else. I'm so happy you're here today and we have an awesome interview today with Julia. It'll be really cool. Yes, and we're going to introduce Julia in just a second. And this is our little, uh, our Solus family member, Lila, our son, who's uh, three months old only and he's joining us tonight. <laughs> he's laughing right now. He's really excited, he told us <laughs> earlier. And um, he will probably fall asleep at some point during the call. So let's enjoy him while he's still awake. And um, just to give you, um, hi Julia is already um, chatting in the chat box. So for all of you to give you a quick orientation before we get started, you have a chat box on this side, I believe it is, where you can uh, exchange messages with all the other viewers here on the call tonight, uh, which is a lot of fun. So please make use of that. And then also below, our screen there's the option for you to ask questions so um, please make sure to ask the questions for Julia or us and but mainly Julia probably today down below this screen and then we are able to see them all together and we can answer them one after the other and notice that two of you already asked questions so you will see uh, where to ask them just below um, those two that have already been asked um, just one uh, one more quick intro of what we're doing uh, the soul assembly is a, a um, soulful entrepreneurial community so there's all types of soulful entrepreneurs in there um, coaches yoga teachers anybody who does um, something soulful something good for the world and uh, sarah's focus and sarah's work sarah's a coach as well really is on helping people create soul businesses to set those up to find your calling to find your vision what you want to create in the world and then she guides her client, clients along the way to actually creating that business, a soulful business, something that is good for the world, not just any, let's say, a drug dealing company or weapon selling company, but something soulful. And um, I'm part of the Soul Assembly as well, uh, co-hosting it with Sarah. And my focus mainly is on meditation, on mindfulness, and incorporating that into business as well, and creating a mindful business, um, whatever that means for you, doing it in a very mindful, very conscious way. Okay, so this is what I like focusing on. And now that's enough um, talking before we get started. Should we get Julia on screen? Yeah. Okay, so we're inviting Julia on screen now. Um, we have this cool option to get her on screen and then we get started with what you have all. Anna, thank for. you for saying I look stunning today mm -hmm. because um, it's actually true. I, I feel I really, really good. Hi, hi, Julia. Do, do you give me? Do you give me a second? I just wanna. Uh, I want, just wanna say something. Um, <laughs> to like about two hours ago, my my godmother she was visiting us um, for a few days, and she did a um, kind of energy session with me. And I was really, you know, I had a cold for the last days. I was occupied with all kind of family stuff, and you know the processes that can come up when lots of family members visit you. Uh, both of our voices were gone and that's actually something we don't have often so sometimes we will drink tea today um, but yes yeah, you said I look stunning you know I feel feel really good since my godmother did this energy session with me and I encourage her to um, to do it with other people too because she's really awesome in doing it she does it with friends for two years already and she's helping lots of people and I, I don't know if there's any other reason um, probably also because I love my job and that's why I show up for the webinar um, today and of course because of you Julia because I love you <laughs> and I love your work and, and since I met you about I think it's it's one year year ago that we met yeah and um yeah it's i i was so looking forward to the interview that i was like i i want to show up to this no matter what happens <laughs> uh, and of course to pass on your um beautiful insights um to everybody else and welcome to the call julia thank you so much <laughs> 
Thank you that I can uh, uh, be here and speak to you. Yeah, can you can you hear us well? Because um, I see your screen is a bit blurry, but it's it's kind of good. And maybe you say something again, a beautiful sentence to everybody else, um, if, yes. so we can see. I hope, can hear. Um, you can hear me. <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's all right. I think it's okay. okay. What do you think, Jan? Could you hear? Okay, great. Um, maybe I move over there until you okay. um, until you maybe uh, Nila fell asleep. Um, I move over here so you can see me fully. Um, so um, our interview today is with Julia Colella. Julia is the um, coach of the year 2016 in Germany. <laughs> um, congratulations. <laughs> You really deserve it, and, and that's not only because you're such a fun person, but because you've helped so many people to transform their life to more happiness and giving up smoking and all kinds of things. So we will talk about that later on. Um, and you're only 25, and that's such an achievement to do that at such a young age and to transform the world with it. It's, it's beautiful. Um, mm -hmm. We are honored to have you on the call today, and I would love to dive right into it um, yes. and um, just to let everyone know we will first talk a little bit about uh, Julia Solbis and then mm -hmm. uh, probably Jan will do the next part uh, uh, talking a little bit about busyness you can have also with your Solbis being a bit too <laughs> busy and yes. uh, Julia knows something about it Jan too <laughs> I'm much more relaxed person in that way I think I wasn't always but I'm not hustling with that much with it so they the two of them are much better to talk about it um, and yeah Julia let us know a little bit more how you came to doing what you do today as a beautiful life coach mm. well, thank you very much for this uh, really really beautiful introduction um, I'm so happy and so uh, grateful to be here um, and talk to your great Sobers family and I'm so happy about that. <laughs> mm. So yeah, it's a it's a really funny story. Um, I was thinking about how does this all begin and um, my way starts uh, really, really early and um, it was I was in school in the first class and um, it's a it's a funny story because my first teachers uh, give me my my first uh, school exam or first letter who were writing about me and they said uh, Julia is more interested in the well-being of their classmates and their friends and not interested in the um, education lesson <laughs> and uh, I, I don't I, I really don't fit in this system <laughs> really early it I makes know me that so well. <laughs> Yeah, and um, yeah, harmony. Um, harmony is really important for me my whole life, um, and I cannot see a change that this will any time change in my life. Uh, so harmony is really really important for me, and um, it doesn't matter if I'm in social groups or um, simply in human interaction. It's really important for me that I feel. Um, yeah, safe, that I feel loved and feel connected with others. And it gives me really much uh, for, for my heart. So perhaps you can imagine that, um, yeah, in school, um, it's not so easy to be always in harmony, especially when you are different from others. So it hurts sometimes really much for me as a child, especially. Um, to go my own way, it was not so easy for me <laughs> and needs really much uh, strength and um, really much work to, to be the person which I am and not to, to go on other ways which people um, want to bring me there. So um, I simply I feel different. to that. Um, yeah. Always family, you know, starting by feeling a bit awkward about who you are at a young age already. 
And yeah. today I say always it's a good sign. <laughs> These people are mostly the, the people who have an awesome soulness. <laughs> Yeah, because I really we had early, uh, early yeah. To be different. yeah, I really had much trouble trouble in in school and to struggle in my um, f um yeah in my first years of my life um, was not easy to me. So I left home very uh, with thirteen years. I had to go to a boarding school and stay there all the time. Mm -hmm. um, I never will forget this sentence about. Um, my father was saying, so can we leave her here all the time? So like I am a dog or something like that or a cat you don't want to have anymore. And I'm their uh, only child. So that hurts me. Uh, yeah, really much. So um, it, was a, it was a hard thing for me to be not um, not like my parents wished that I'm so that I'm high sensitive and really emotional and um, yeah, not fit in this uh, school system. So um, living in a boarding school was, was quite, a, quite the opposite of being um, in a happy um, place, in a safe place. So um, honestly, it was horrible for me this time because I need people around me who are also sensitive and um, be lovely and um, yeah, uh, people who are understand me. And um, so my unhappiness was manifesting in daily uh, stomach problems. So it hurts all the time and was really sick and really unhappy. But after a while, uh, I became independent and um, of this source. And um, yeah, I learned to survive to find my own way to stand for what I'm thinking and what I'm like to do. And nowadays I use my sensitivity as a strength as it's there for me all the time. And today I, um, yeah, I experience every day a high empathy to all other people to be so um, connected and so lovely and yeah. I can use it so good in my work and um, I smile and send uh, brightness to others around me and um, yeah, be a lovely and a good person. <laughs> and um, really early, I um, at the age of, of 14, um, I met an inspiring woman. Um, she was uh, the first um, non-medical healer for me. And um, this woman inspires me till today because she's she's so amazing. She has her whole her own soul business, and at the same time, she's a lovely mother of two really sweet children, and um, so lovely with her children. So she's respectful. She listens to her little ones and uh, talks to them so beautiful and in a lovely way. And um, yeah, a lovely mother on the one hand and on the other side, a businesswoman. And this is just amazing uh, to get to know such a person um, when you are so young like me with 14 and I'm so grateful to meet her. And um, yeah, since that time, uh, we always keep in touch and share our ideas and inspiring each other. And yeah, later, during my um, abitur, I also worked in a, a large company and I really re realized really quickly that this is not the way I want to work. Um, I also noticed how unhappy uh, most of the employees were and which impact this unhappiness had for me. So I don't feel good at this place. Then I promised myself I want to be happy i want to have a great soul business i want to uh, be a lovely mother one day and um, to help other people to be happy too mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> that's so beautiful, that's so beautiful. i can really <laughs> hear what you say about the beautiful woman who um was your guide um because i just had my godmother here and she you know, she's my guide all my life. And um, if I wouldn't have known her, I would never have experienced already as a child that there's a different kind of woman than I experience, um, you know, 
how how the most women were around me and um and i feel you know it's meant to be like that and st she still is that inspiration until today and it's so important to be guides um for each other and that's also what we love to do in the in the sobers family you know to to support each other and to be guides for each other and i totally believe in to, in that we are all that we are this for each other you know today i'm a guide for her she's a guide for me um you can be a guide for us we can be a guide for you as you have attended our um our retreat and but you inspire us with your uh, work and you know it's so beautiful how we can help each other if we really follow um what our heart says mm, yeah. mm. Mm. so if you like to i i can can go on a little bit what what, what um what I was doing to, to come to my business nowadays. Yeah, yeah, that would be awesome. Because, yeah, so, um, yeah, I um, want to have this big wish to live in harmony and in balance with um, with private life and um, with the soul business. And so I studied uh, economics and psychology and I um, I discovered the positive psychology and um, this is nowadays my uh, favorite subject area and um, a science of a successful and a happy life, how to flourish, how, how to yeah, be happy. <laughs> so um, yeah, my happiness research I did was also published as a book some years ago. It's um, called the Kunst des Glücklichseins. It's um, just German, I'm so sorry about that. Maybe in some years there will be also, uh, <laughs> it will be an English version or something like that. Um, mm. So I continued studying and made my uh, master in, in business coaching and change management. And are you there anymore? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> okay, um, I can see them anymore. I hope you can. We still here. Okay, should I go on? <laughs> so I'm in the middle now. <laughs> okay, I go on. Um, yeah, at my at my master degrees, um, I start to coaching people and uh, that gave me a lot of fun and I became a really great feedback and the coaches had really great results. Um, so this reason, it, it gave me a, a lot of fulfillment. I loved it. I had so much fun while doing it and I trusted my feelings and I decided to, um, yeah, build my own company. I. Uh, trusted in my inner voice and realized my dream by founding a company called Soul Chocolate Seelen Schokolade and uh, teaching people exactly what I was looking for all the time, how to build a happy life. And um, as it always happens in life, um, when you do a really good work, you get a recommendation and if you do a good job, you will be uh, recommended to um, to friends or to other people. And for this reason, it grows up all the time because I'm just doing a good work and uh, try to do my best even if sometimes there are some problems, uh, like technical problems like uh, right now. So, <laughs> so maybe you have a, a question for me and I can... Um, also answer them and hope that Sarah and John will be there in some minutes. Um, yeah, Jan is asking if you could hear me. Oh, that's great. <laughs> okay, yeah. you can, oh, here okay. we go again. Um, can you see me, Julia? Yeah. Now you're on yes. the other side of the screen. It's funny. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Um, so you can hear me and see me, Julia? Yes. 
Okay, great. Um, I, I lost you uh, when you started talking about how you uh, created your soul verse and it would be great yes. if, you, if you start there again. Mm, yeah, I was, I was going on um, um, that in my master um, studies, um, I start coaching people and uh, get very good feedbacks and the coaches had uh, really great results and for above all it it gives me so much love so much fulfillment so much fun so inspiring you you feel this oh i'm right here at the same at this feeling of oh you do something uh, with so much spirit and so much love and you feel um, yeah you feel it. Yeah, you know what I mean, Sarah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's awesome because it's, it's uh, you know, we always love to teach people, try out what you love to do, you know, and do it more often and see if it's still fun because sometimes there are things, we try them out and then, you know, after a while we get a bit bored and, you know, like for me, it's with, you know, coaching one-on-one, -on -one, I, you know, I love it and I love it now for years and I, I couldn't live without it, I would say, you know, it's like, yeah, and I have done it so many times and I still feel every, uh, before every session, like, yeah, let's go, I love to do this, you know, and it sounds like it was similar mm -hmm. for you, but you can only experience this and, and learn if this is the right thing for you, if you try it out and if you do it more often. Yes. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, I just trusted my feeling and uh, make myself independent. I trusted there yeah, my my inner feelings, my inner voice, and realized my dream of founding a company, Zen Chocolate, teaching exactly what I was looking for. All the time. Yeah, so it starts. <laughs> That's beautiful. How how did the transformation work? From you know, you studied psychology and. You, you were into this, um, into this. Oh, can you still hear me? I can see you again. <laughs> I just go on talking, maybe it works. And you come back. Um, uh, everybody else, please give me a feedback if you can see Julia. And Julia, maybe you write into the chat box if you um, can see me. Oh, great. Okay, oh, great. that's all good. Um, Julia, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, I can't, can't see you right now, but I can hear you, so I would just go on. Um, and I would love to know how you made the transformation from, you know, um, studying psychology, working on, you know, the insights of happiness uh, psychology, and then really building a soul biz out of it, you know, like having this transformation of having your own business. How, how did you feel with this? Because many people are anxious about, you know, really transforming from a normal job to having their own soul biz and being self-employed. Um, how did that work for you? How did you make this transformation? Mm. Mm, yes, it was really simply for me when I'm Truly, it was really simply because um, the the normal way does not fit to me anyway. <laughs> so I'm, I'm thinking um, on so different ways, and I want to be independent. Um, I want to work when I like it, and don't want that anyone says you have to do this at that time. So just go my my own way and. So for me, there was no other opportunity like like doing this. Beginning when I started this uh, coachings, um, I I make it for free just for fun. And nowadays, um, if there are no costs or something like that, um, I just loving it to do my work. So um, yeah, it's 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 just my 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 sense of of being here to um yeah to help other people and um to live a fulfilled life and um, yeah that makes me very happy and then I am very happy I'm on a high um, energy level and um can help other people um can can feel them better and can be so connected with them to get them higher on a higher level and, and feel so 
so good and so um, loved. Um, there's a question. Uh, so did you manage to do no other job besides coaching after your studies? Um, I'm, I'm working uh, beside my uh, studies um, all the time. So um, I've worked in a large company. Um, I've worked um, in a um, clinic, in a, a rehabilitation uh, clinic. And um, I make this, um, um, this experience of, um, yeah, being an employee. But there were so many people who are sad with their job or doesn't feel good about that and it was not not my way yeah so um, at the beginning when I was independent I had to work um, in a rehabilitation um, because I, j I just need the, the money to build my business up and I learned there very much I give their um, seminars um, helping people which have uh, um, which have uh, problems with their body and with their health and can't sleep so I help them to get a better sleeping to feel more confident more happy in their life more happy in their body and, and um, yeah it was a great experience to um, make people happy which are um, yeah which are in a really bad um, point in their life when they are able to move their legs anymore or something like that. And to, to get this um, experience um, that I can help these people give me so much believing in my work, in my being and in moving people. Um, so I'm really grateful for this experience um, I made as an employee, but um, my way is it to be independent and to have my own business and to be a leader um, yeah to help other people to grow um, nowadays Seelen Schokolade is not just a one thing I have um, we have a team of, of uh, four people and it's go on it's growing <laughs> and it's so fun and um, yeah at the moment I'm um, building a community system and um, yeah this is really much fun I really love it and Sarah is back again <laughs> hi I'm back I don't know what happened yeah. Um, but I, you went on talking, which is great. <laughs> and I think Vera asked a question and you answered it, right? Yeah, I, I did answer um, Vera's uh, question. Did you finish already or do you want to yeah, go I'm, on? Yeah, I'm, I'm quite finished at this um, moment. That's oh, perfect. Yes. Okay. Uh, I can't see you. Can, can you say something I, I again? I don't know I see you. what's happening. I can slightly um, hear you. So we will try something else and come back to you then. And it's awesome if you answer just the next question. Vera Lara oh. asked, when did you work on your business full yeah, um, so at the beginning, um, as I explained, I, I work in a rehabilitation um, and um, help um, uh, sick people to get um, more happiness in their life. And um, But it was really hard for me to work in such an um, yeah, environment. And um, I tried my best to, uh, to leave this, um, this place to take everything and grateful with me and um, yeah then I uh, worked full-time uh, for soul chocolate since um, yeah since three years I'm um, independent and full-time since um, yeah nearly nearly three years yes or two years so but this it doesn't matter so so i'm independent in three years and of course i um at the beginning i had to work to, to get more money because at the beginning um i was not uh, sure to take uh, to take isis 
and um, this is a normal thing that is going on and growing and you just have to go step by step and um, thinking about oh when full time and, and when I be uh, perfect and when I uh, do this and then that and and so just just be there in this moment and think about oh what I want to do uh, what I'm loving and uh, what I can do to go my own way um, to use my strengths um, just just like my sensitivity in a normal working place, it's not good there. And too, too soft, um, too emotional. So when there will be uh, a meeting and I will be special, I would sit there and so crying and oh my God, we have to be happy. So I'm not at the um, uh, yeah right place when I'm um, in such boring uh, business meetings or something like that. But I really love it to be. Um, connected with so uh, great and inspiring people and um, so I'm really thankful to be here um, so I think we have uh, some technical problems again <laughs> that's not so great um, maybe you have uh, some more questions and I am loving to answer your questions <laughs> Um, and I hope Sarah and you are back. How did you build your coaching framework? Do you have one or do you let your client guide you? Um, that's a good question. So um, I'm doing um, different things in coachings. For example, my best booked um, coaching um, is Smoke Stop. I help people to stop smoking. Um, because I'm a hypnotherapist and um, I have a system behind this session. So there's a system to um, uh, have some questions, to get to know what's the benefit behind smoking, why does a person uh, need that in her life in the moment, and um, what what kind of... Um, um, Possibilities are there to um, to satisfaction uh, these um, needs and um, these positive things. For example, like the person have always um, the possibility to go out and to have a break. And now we find new ways um, to um, satisfy these needs. Let the person take breaks at the work or um, look more after herself, uh, takes time for herself. So, yeah, we find um, new habits um, instead of smoking. And these new habits are so um, powerful, they're good for the person that when she's doing this and go on with these new habits, um, she will be so much more happy and so much lighter. And when we have um, this, this core, we find these reasons and new habits, then we make a um, hypnosis session. And of course, this hypnosis session has a frame, um, a, a system behind it. And um, I can go through it because it's so, um, I do it so often lots of hundred times I help people to stop smoking and I have this system really in my head. I learned really, really much for it. And I traveled all over the world to connect skills to help help people in the best way, in a in a lovely and respectful way. So yeah, of course there's a there's a system behind it, but I also like it to uh, yeah to flow and just listen and um, but there are things to um, to come come in. That's good. Hello, Sarah. <laughs> Let's <laughs> try again. <laughs> Did you have a great time? Yes. Yeah, I answer questions. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. Probably that's what people love uh, anyway the most. <laughs> I hope so. Um, cool. Do, do you yes. want to answer any other question or shall we go on? Yeah. 
There's a question um, um, how I get my first clients. Um, mm -hmm. And it is how it always happens in life, um, simply by a recommendation. So if you um, are doing a good job, um, it will be recommended. So I thought, and that's the way things um, go for me. Um, for instance, um, I um, help a people, people to stop smoking and this person is then smoking free and um, this person is happy about that and then uh, recommended me to his friends or to family members or to colleagues and um, for this reason I always uh, get new opportunities to help people just by saying Julia's doing a great job. Mm, cool. <laughs> That's really cool. So by actually doing it, you can be, recommend, be recommended. So the first step is probably to do it. And, and the second step is uh, that people recommend you. Did you do anything to encourage them that they recommend you? To give them a hint, you know, like to say like, do you like to recommend me? Or did they do it automatically? Oh, I, I hacked them. <laughs> You hack them. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm just be, be lovely with, with the people around me. And um, this is a really great thing that when you are with so much love there, uh, they will always say, hey, she's doing a great job. And then they hear something about someone wants to stop smoking or someone wants to be happier, more fulfilled. And then they, they call me, hey, Julia, can I give um, this person your number? And then it's going on. No problem. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I, I made the same experience. You know, people always ask me, how did you man do you manage to have such a, a great service without a website? You know, and I'm like, I just do what I love to do. <laughs> and yeah, and then of course people know about it and um, yeah, and they recommend me to other people and it's, it's beautiful. It's like, a, you know, it's like, like a circle. Um, the energy just yeah. goes on. Yeah, it, you just have to make the first step and really offering what you love to offer and know what you're meant to offer. You know what kind of what's your calling, and and then it yeah. flows. That's my experience too. It's beautiful, cool. Yeah. Um, I would say I hand on to Jan at that point because we only we have uh, twenty more minutes and um, we can stay what? together like this. I mean, yes. I still need to stand because the baby is still sleeping. When I sit down, he wakes up. <laughs> so you will do it from there, right? Um, so what I find really interesting, when, when, when you look at your website, right, and many people probably have already checked it out at zeochocolade.de, you see that you are doing, I don't know, 10 different things or so, like coaching for companies, life coaching, writing books, you're doing a podcast, a books podcast, and how do you manage to handle all this at the same time? And do you ever feel like it's just overwhelming at some point? Mm -hmm. um, I look after myself. So I, um, I always feel um, that I look after myself. So it starts um, very simply by taking regular breaks being mindful with the um, things I do and give for others. And I get um, this done through breaks of breathing. Just breathe in and let it go. <laughs> and um, simply taking myself out of a busy moment, which I feel I do not um, truly experience. Um, um, by saying that um, even the moment would then be experienced as it is. And um, I try to live with lightness and love for myself and the other people around me. Um, yeah, lightness I can experience through um, connecting to myself 
and um, all of the other beautiful people around me. And yeah, one reason why in our Seelenschokolade team, there's so much love because we, we don't have deadlines or yes, we just have love lines. So when there's um, something not finished at this date, the person is further loved. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. And, do you, and does, does it, I mean, it's a beautiful concept and it seems to work, which from, yeah. from what we all learn at university, you would learn this time of doesn't work, but you show that it does. Mm -hmm. And I have um, developed a, a model for balance in the last three years and it's, um, it's getting finished now. And if you like to, it's a, it's a little secret. It's not um, um, online right now. It will be the next years, but I can give you a short picture about it when you like to. Yeah, because that's, uh, that's one of Julia's secrets too. She loves to draw just, you know, like yeah. not making PowerPoint presentations like in the old life. Like she does it from her heart on paper <laughs> you can also see it on instagram yes right? i really love it. what's the name of your yes. instagram account see in chocolate okay i, I type Just it in, in the box chocolate. yes i really love my instagram account makes very much um fun for me so it's a balance model and you can imagine it like a, a balance Anybody else has questions, please write them in the box uh, underneath. You can uh, imagine a balance. Like, like this. <laughs> and on the, um, on the one side, there's our mind. On the one side, there is our our mind, which always wants to go faster, go forward, meet targets, achieve goals, uh, strives for something it really wants. We want to go on, and we are so busy in our head sometimes. And on the one other side, there is our body. On the other side, there is our body which gets stressed out of pressure, but it's a true nature wants to get a break sometimes. Yeah, sometimes we just want to get a break. And um, people who, um, who ignore these signs can become ill or the body simply uh, drops and says out of order. And between these two sides, there is a connection and the connection is our breathing. So our breathing rhythm is very individual and for that matter never needs to be adjusted. When you go jogging, you have a typical breathing rhythm which you may not notice, but there's one. And um, you can observe this breathing rhythm. And now compare your breathing when you are lying in your bed or in your Ram uh, bathrobe with your breathing while you are running or jogging. Notice the difference just out of memory. So when you are stressed, you tend to be breathing faster and when you are relaxed your breathing gets deep and slowly you can you can use your breath to relax your mind you can use your breathing to relax your body and sometimes we have such uh, situations and i know them really really good when and um, when you have something um for someone or something you have really to do now and then just um, be aware of your breathing. So how's my breathing rhythm at the moment? 
and then relax your breathing, breathe deeper and be aware of the moment and then go on and you will, um, you get the result that you are, get more quiet in your mind, you get more stillness and you are better in doing these things then. So we have our body and our mind and the connection between it is our breathing. Yes, this is my uh, newest model and um, it, hopes, um, it helps you to get more um, relaxed and to help in busy situations that you are not your thoughts, that you are not your monkey mind, which says you have to do this, that, 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 and go faster, that you are more than your thoughts, that you are also have a body which needs healthy food, which needs a break, which needs fresh water, sports, and the things you love, which needs connection and a feeling, a really feeling of other people. And then you can use your breathing to relax, to calm down and to be present in this moment, to be present and to be aware. That's it. That's beautiful. And I'm, I'm a big, big support of what you were just sharing. Um, breathing and essentially there's sort of like a breathing or mindful meditation or something. Some people will probably say, and I'm a, I'm a big fan of it as well. And so, um, to, to okay. Uh, I I also want to mention now, um, you know, kind of work. We'll do a, a retreat in January, um, all about this kind of you know when you become too busy and um, how you can handle this and how you can start a new starts on the second of January, and um, it's to start a really cool uh, new life. Um, style in in 2017. And, um, I love how you um, how you do this, um, Julia. Like having a really, you know, like a really cool lifestyle and bringing that to every year um, you you live. And it's really, you know, how you grow. And it's it's really, and I love how you two relate in that way too. You know, it sounds so simple that it's just breathing, you know. Um, it's yeah. really mindful and really? in the moment. You know? We can make it really complicated. Like, I mean, people like Eckhart Tolle, they talk about it every day. <laughs> they write so many books about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's actually, it's true. It's that simple. Uh, and that's really cool, you know. And now when, when the, the call was interrupted or they took a breath and like, okay <laughs> take a deep breath it will go on soon <laughs> send all the energy towards it will go on you know um, and that's yes. you know, simply how you can your, your mind will the focus in that moment yeah, yeah. You want to... um, do you sometimes so um, passionate <clears throat> about it and of course he has to talk about yeah. it you, yeah, do, do you <laughs> take out like certain weeks like this that you Let's say you, you go on a retreat or so, or you, um, you say, well, now I take a week to just focus on my mindfulness. Or how do you Yes, uh, this year I was um, uh, two months um, in, in Bali and uh, take time for myself and for um, setting new priorities mm -hmm. and um, yeah, to meet other great people and to come back to myself. So I think it's really, um, really good to take time for yourself. And um, I also was um, at your retreat one year ago and I meet such great people, especially Dina. I love her so, so much. And we are um, still in a, in a great connection. She's, um, yeah, she's such a, a great woman and after this retreat I set uh, new priorities yeah um, I had time to reflect my uh, work-life balance and um, have recognized how important I am to a love affair with myself and with another um, uh, another guy so um, 
I also learned to be more regardful with my feminine flow, um, to look carefully um, for myself because women have a cycle and simply a different way of working than men. And we are living in a society which is so um, masculine so often. And uh, it's not good for a woman to try to be so masculine or so hard. Um, it, it's, not, it's not healthy for us. So I find a, a working flow with more lightness, with more loving, with more connection and uh, try to ask um, or I, I start to ask for help. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> is Good this point. awesome? Yeah, is this when you started building a team, or did you have the team before that already? Um, at this point, I had um, a team of, we were so two teams, so Sebastian and me. And um, after this, I, I ask, um, there are sometimes um, people who ask me if they can help me. And yeah. it was a point that I said, yes, of course, uh, we, we do it together. And it was easier for me then to, um, um, yeah, take this help to help others. So it was a really good for me yeah. <laughs> for others <laughs> so. yeah this is a beautiful realization right that the moment we allow us to be helped we are able to help more people right in return it's not about only us being able to be helped but we can serve more people we can go out and create um, bigger projects bigger challenges nice events whatever it is but it actually serves our mission right it serves more people so that's really important to keep in mind um, mm. Beautiful. I just, um, before we, yeah, and Glenn just wrote in the chat box, cooperation, and um, I just noticed that there was one more question of Reno that I would love to, uh, to have answered before we come to a close. And I think it was something along the lines of how do you approach marketing and promoting your events or something, right? Let me just check again what Reno asked. Did you already see it? Or the last question, oh, yeah. how do you approach promoting, marketing, and branding yourself? Great question, yeah. Do you have any yeah. around this? Yeah, yeah I, as I said, um, yeah, find the way you like it the most. For example, I, I love uh, drawing. I, I draw my own pictures, my own marketing pictures, and then I... Um, um, give them for other people on Instagram. Um, I'm doing uh, small videos on YouTube and um, live videos on, on Facebook. So um, Facebook, Instagram and uh, YouTube are my main stages uh, for community um, and for connection. And um, yeah, find the media who's um, who's good for you and you can make marketing just in a way to be um, inspiring for others to give good content like uh, my Christmas calendar, um, uh, Dankbarkeits Adventskalender um, this Christmas because it is my vision to make people especially here in uh, German speaking countries more thankful for all they already have because credit you is a key to happiness and a good way to make a change for anyone. So who's gracefully wants to walk his own way and see the great things in his life. And this Christmas calendar has started um, at the 1st December and in 24 days the members uh, get uh, great tutorials, uh, videos, meditations, mindfulness um, exercises and so members exchange their experience in the eine dankbare welt gruppe at facebook um, and yeah raise their gratitude and speak about their gratefulness and their great experience and um, communities make humans um, happy and happiness enjoys community <laughs> so it's really great um, 
um, to have this um, happy community um, to make such challenges, challenges which brings people together. We have um, 2,000 uh, members at the moment at our Christmas calendar. 2,000, that's so much. And at the podcast, I like these audio things to just talk and close my eyes, just talk. And we have over uh, 10,000 listeners. That's amazing. <laughs> so, uh, and it's go on. There will come very much the next uh, years. Mm. Let, me, let me just ask one more follow-up question. That how, how do you choose the subject? What? How do you decide what subject to do next? Like to do a Christmas calendar or to do podcast? What do you base the decision on? How do you decide that? Mm -hmm. um, I go there with my uh, feminine flow. Um, I go there with um, um, with the relationships I have in my life. So um, maybe they are good friends. I I want to work together. Maybe they have ideas. We listen to each other. We inspiring each other, and just um, then listen to my heart. What I want the most, and then just do it. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Can people still calendar? Um, yeah, it's uh, possible to go inside. Just um, go on. Eine dankbare Welt.de slash Julia mm -hmm. and um, to join the Facebook group Eine dankbare Welt. It's completely for free. And um, yeah, it's a really great thing and really inspiring and really amazing how the people get their connections and get happier and get so great results. Yeah. Um, yeah, it already started one week ago, but yeah, you can join um, and um, feel this great feeling of gratefulness. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is a beautiful thing to um, to coming to this uh, of this conversation. And want to thank you very much for taking the time to share with us. Um, things on your plate, and we're very uh, your heart I to be on this call tonight to take the time. Thank you very much for being here. And, um, yes. oh, yeah, this, is this your computer? Yes, yeah. okay. I prepared a little thing and ask everybody who's on the call to please post on this side, on, on the chat box, what you are grateful for today. So, um, yes. who are you inspired? Uh -huh. What makes you happy, what makes you grateful? Yeah, what are you grateful for today um, in your life at this moment? Let's share this all together in the chat box um, as we bring this conversation to a close. And um, you say it's a great contribution to happiness, isn't it? Gratefulness is a, plays a big part in happiness. Yeah, absolutely. And, and gratefulness makes us happy. And with all my projects, like the Christmas calendar or the Glücks podcast, my biggest vision is it to raise awareness to positive thinking, to creating gratefulness and further empathy for one another. Sometimes it is just, it just needs a, a gentle reminder. Um, that you make a difference, that there's more to explore, more to learn, more to share than just poor success stories. Especially on social media where everyone posts his perfect life and no one has this perfect life. Nobody really has such a life and struggling and problems are part of our journey. They are okay and we need them. We need real people who are vulnerable and strong at the same time to be real. And so my company, Seen Chocolate, wants to uh, share with people how to think positive, be uh, grateful, live in love with freedom and how to build yourself um, a happy, sober 
to be stronger and to be balanced and that's it just like what i'm grateful for i'm mm -hmm. grateful for lila <laughs> I'm really grateful for all of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I'm so happy. I'm so happy to looking forward to visit you together with my boyfriend uh, at Sylvester. Oh my god. I'm so happy. Oh, we are so excited. We are so happy to have you here soon in Mallorca. And so <laughs> so much for the interview, you will yeah, for giving us these insights and the really behind the scenes information. Um, and if, if you have some more time, I'm happy if you, um, if you feel like to answer more questions underneath um, this video, you know, where people post the questions. Um, if you feel a call to do something else, um, that's fine too. I'm sure we see you around. Um, we see you around, of course, <laughs> but also Yay. everybody else, you know, can can follow you on social media or on your website. I also posted um, your website, um, and I love what people mention, what they are grateful for. And and I would say, at the end of the call, maybe we all take a minute um, to close our eyes. Um, I, I I will say something again when. Um, uh, when one minute is over, we all close our eyes and um, just imagine how grateful we are and call all this into our head and all the beautiful pictures and we'll close like this the call. Um, and then I leave, um, the, after the minute, I leave uh, the saying goodbye to you, Julia, um, and I will spend my minute being grateful for you. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful to be here. Thank you so, so much. You're great. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much, everybody, for creating this beautiful energy for one minute and feeling connected in that way. That's also part of a soulful lifestyle. And from my experience, everybody who is more grateful um, has a more successful soul list. I, I witness that every day with my clients and all the beautiful people around me. So I encourage you to go on with this. And I leave the last um, few sentences to Julia to say goodbye to all of you. And I hope to see you soon in the Solar family or anywhere else. Oh, so beautiful. I'm, I'm so uh, grateful to being here. And I hope to um, inspiring the listeners, the viewers, to live a happy, fulfilled life with gratefulness with awareness to be present in the moment and any time to think that everything will be good at the end and to never give up always keep your head up and always believe that all strengths you have all struggles you have in your life have a deeper sense to bring you to your to your hmm 
we don't know it <laughs> what what it um we 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 all have this this sense of we have so such a great life and just to enjoy it and uh, to love ourselves and to love people around us to be friendly with others and yeah live the best version of ourselves and um yeah maybe then being uh, parents like you and uh, to bring other great uh, small humans on this uh, planet mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. yeah. that's a beautiful close of, uh, of the interview thank you so much julia um post an extra yeah. box please your uh, your website so and uh social media yeah. channels so that people can follow you and i sent you a loving hug um i guess we'll <laughs> and um we see you in a few weeks <laughs> yes i'm so happy to bye see bye. you bye bye. You so, so much bye bye love to you and your bye day. Mm -hmm. bye yay up to you <laughs> thank you <laughs> oh, soon.